Hello my most amazing artists. Today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, different styles and subjects of art and how you can look at art and the work and the artwork of others and be able to talk about the styles and subjects that you see. So the first thing is I'd like to talk about on this side I have the uh, styles of art. There's three different styles, main styles. Realistic, abstract, and non-objective. The first one we're going to talk about is realistic. And in that word, realistic is the word real. Because realistic art is made to look real or drawn as close to real as can be drawn. So here's a drawing of a crocodile or alligator and it looks pretty real. Here is another drawing of some fruit and a flower, and it's drawn to look real. It has shadows. They, they drew it as close to what it looked like as they could. The next style is abstract. And abstract art looks a little bit like real. It has a subject just like real does. But it's, it's real simplified into shapes. So this would be an abstract artwork. This would be an abstract artwork. So it's not super realistic. This would also be an abstract artwork. Okay, abstract. And here, from like our Pegaso Matisse, Here's another abstract artwork because it's not made to look real, but you can tell that that's a person. Okay, same thing here, abstract and abstract. You could tell that that's a dog or a wolf and that's a baby and that's a guy with a snake head and a clock head, but it's made to look simple. It's really simplified, but it still has a subject. Okay, it still has objects in it. The next one is non-objective and non-objective uh, has no like real objects so like this right here would be non-objective you can see it's made up of lines patterns shapes this would also be non-objective even though it looks like a sun coming out um, there's no object in here let's look at some other non-objective Okay, a non-objective could have words in it. This is a non-objective. But it could just have shapes, lines, different colors. This, is a, this one right here is a really good non-objective. So there's no object in here. You might look in there and see a face or see a, a, a bug or see something. But that's what your imagination does. Okay, but there's no object that, that looks real or even abstracted in there. So those are the three main types of art, realistic, abstract, and non-objective. Now let's talk about some different types of art. The first one is still life. A still life is when you put a bun bunch of objects together. Um, a lot of times in art you see it, they have bowls of fruit. If you've seen a bowl of fruit painting, and you've seen a still life. Here's an example of a still life. Okay, you can see these are different objects that were set on a table with a backdrop. And you, the artist looked at it and drew all the different parts. Okay, the mug, the stuffed animal, the basket. So that is a still life because it, it doesn't move, it's still. And they look at it. It's also observational because they were looking at something and drawing it at the same time. So still, a still life is observational. But an observational drawing could be drawing just one thing. If I set this roll of tape in front of me and I drew it as I looked at it and I'm looking at all the different lines and curves and I'm trying to match them in my drawing, then that would be observational as well. So, moving forward, a portrait. 
A portrait is a drawing of somebody or yourself or somebody else. If, if it's yourself, then it's a self-portrait. But here's an example of a portrait of boxer Muhammad Ali. Okay, uh, it could be the whole body of the person. Oftentimes, the portrait is just the head and, and shoulders part of a person. So a portrait is a picture or drawing of a person. The next thing is a landscape. Here's a really cool looking landscape with a bunch of blue dogs. A landscape is usually sideways like this where portraits are up and down. And a landscape has land in it. It has a front, middle, and back. And as things go to the back, they get smaller. You can see this tree. <coughs> in real life, if we were standing there, it might be the same size as this tree, but since it's far away, it looks smaller. Okay, and then you have the line where the where the land meets the sky and you have the sky up here. So this is a landscape. The last thing is an illustration. Okay, or a drawing to tell a story. So I've got a couple examples of an illustration. Here's like an ad illustration. Okay, a drawing. It, it's kind of showing this shoe. Okay, and it's a fake shoe. It's called Nebelo Shoes. The fastest shoes on earth. And this is like an illustration. It's meant for a purpose. To, to tell a story or to get the reader to buy the shoe. Here's another one here. This is an illustration of part of one of my favorite books and movies, The Princess Bride. And it has the, the characters. And it kind of has some little lines from the story in there. So illustration is made to show a story. Now things can be both. You could have a landscape that's also an illustration. This could be uh, illustrating that the, a story about the different dogs, the different color dogs um, living in the forest, that live in the different color houses. But uh, let's get to what we're going to do today. Let's review real quick. Realistic is made to look real. Abstract has a subject, but it doesn't look real. You can tell what it is, if it's a person or a thing, but it doesn't look real. And non-objective, you can't tell that there are any objects in there at all. So it's, it doesn't look real, it doesn't have a subject, it's non-objective. Okay, and then still life is when things are still that an artist draws. Portrait is a drawing of a person. Landscape is a drawing of land. Illustration is a narrative or a storytelling within the picture. And observational is when you look at something and draw it as you see it. So today, our, our first assignment here is we are going to try to do an observational drawing. So what I want you to do is find something in your own house that uh, has a little bit of detail to it. Like I don't want to see, oh, I'm going to draw this pen here and the pen is really, really simple. I want you to pick something that has a little bit of detail. If I was drawing this tape thing here, I might draw it at an angle and look at it. Maybe I draw the top and I draw all this detail on here. Okay, if I'm drawing this Diet Mountain Dew bottle, okay, I look at the curves, I look at the way it's got a lot of detail. So you want to pick something. It can be an action figure or a stuffed toy or whatever you want. And you're going to set it in front of you. And you can use a pencil for this um, if you'd like to. If you use a pencil, I'd like you to make sure you draw it big. And also you might want to go over your pencil lines with marker or crayon so I can see it when you hold it up and take your picture of it. So you're going to draw something from observation. So you're going to get something to draw, look at it, and try to draw it as realistic as you can. So we're doing a realistic observational drawing. So you're going to draw it as real as you can. Once you're finished, take a picture of your work with your uh, computer and upload it to the assignment and submit it under the assignment. Alright, till next time. See you later.